What is up, Film Geeks? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the channel. Inside Out 2 is smashing, smashing box office records, soon to be on its way to joining that billion dollar club. But we have a ton of upcoming Disney projects from Disney to Marvel to Star Wars that very well might join that billion dollar club as well, or they might fall through the cracks. We're going to take the next 16 Disney projects and we're going to place them on their proper tiers by how likely and least likely they are to join the billion dollar club. Let me know what upcoming Disney movies you think will and will not join that billion our club hit the like button subscribe button notification bell let's hop into these tiers starting off with our tiers we have guaranteed meaning i 1000 percent think this movie will be guaranteed a billion dollars at the box office and then we have most likely meaning not guaranteed it should get there but it's probably gonna fall just a little bit short then we have middle of the road right there in the middle of the tier meaning it's probably gonna do five six hundred million dollar range then we have you're telling me there's a chance meaning there's not much of one but there's a, so there's a small chance. And then the final tier, we have Bomb. Meaning, I think this movie will bomb at the box office. First up, we have Inside Out 2 on here. Not an upcoming Disney project. One that's still in theaters. Been in theaters for two weeks. This one's guaranteed to join a billion dollars. In just about a couple days of time recording this video, this movie will have joined the Billion Dollar Club, which is absolutely fantastic. Inside Out 2 did something absolutely remarkable. It got everyone back into theaters as a family, which I feel like haven't been really happening lately. I was not expecting Inside Out 2 to join a billion dollar club. I thought it was going to be in the middle of the road tier, to be quite honest with you. I'm so happy this movie is. It's fantastic. It's one of Pixar's absolute best movies of all time. Then we have Deadpool and Wolverine. Friends, we're on a hot streak right now. Guaranteed. This comes out in the end of July. There is no competition for Deadpool and Wolverine. It is a wide open slate. They are going to dominate week after week. It will be the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. It will probably end up being the highest grossing movie of the entire year. It is absolutely going to crash box office records. Or will Inside Out 2 hold that top spot? Only time will tell, but Deadpool and Wolverine, bet your bottom dollar, bro, is going to guarantee that billion dollars. Then we have Moana 2, another movie. We're on a little hot streak right here. I'm not going to go guaranteed. I'm going to go most likely. I have a couple reservations personally with Moana 2. Now, let's just put it this way. First and foremost, it's in that most likely tier, meaning it's, it probably will end up getting there. It comes out during Thanksgiving time. The first Moana is one of the most streamed movies of all time, so the popularity is there. For me, as a film fan, as someone who I could call myself a cinephile, Moana 2 is supposed to be a series now brought into a movie. I don't know if there's going to be that rewatchability factor here. I feel like a lot of movies that join that Billion Dollar Club have that rewatchability factor. That being said, it's Moana. It's Dwayne Johnson back as Maui. The songs are catchy. The animation style is brilliant. It's Thanksgiving time. It should go in the guaranteed tier. But for the sake of things, I think it's going to fall just short in eight to $900 million tier. Then we have Mufasa the Lion King. I'm going to put Mufasa the Lion King in the middle of the road. I don't see this one dominating the box office. Comes out at Christmas time. A very good, popular time for this movie to come out. Personally, I'm not like over the moon excited. I think it actually looks good, but I'm a little confused. Is this a prequel? Is this a sequel? Is it a prequel sequel? That being said, also though, this could do a lot better than I'm expecting because the Lion King live action, which was actually an animated movie, did like $1.5 So put it in the middle of the road. It's probably a dumb decision, but we're going to keep it there. Then we have Captain America Brave New World. I'll go, you're telling me there's a chance, but this movie's been through production hell. Of all the upcoming MCU projects, I'm not looking forward to this one all that much. I was not the biggest fan of the Falcon and Winter Soldier. I don't know where they're going to go from here. You're telling me there's a chance. Snow White, live action movie. Middle of the road. I see Snow White stumbling right around 600 million, like the live action Little Mermaid movie did, which I thought was guaranteed to hit one billion dollars. But I think Snow White suffers the same fate as the Little Mermaid live action film did. I think it would actually be pretty good. Snow White is one of the classic Disney movies, one of the classic Disney princesses, so I would like to see this movie succeed. I know there's a little bit of controversy surrounding it, so you know that's always fun in there. Five, six hundred million dollar range. Thunderbolts. I'm excited for this movie. Like, I am very much defending this movie. For everyone who's skeptical, I'm your guy to defend it. But the Thunderbolts will bomb. And I think the Thunderbolts is just going to be a, probably about a $300 million movie at best. It's going to break even. I feel like it would have worked better as a series, but that's a topic for another time. Then we have Elio, the upcoming Pixar movie for next year, which looks cute. It looks fine. Now, with Inside Out 2 success, my thoughts for Elio are going up. So I'll put Elio in. You're telling me there's a chance that it might end up doing that high freaking number that we aren't expecting it to. 
No one expected Inside Out 2 to do this good. I don't think anyone expected Inside Out 2 to be this good. Elio could be kind of like that light year fate where it definitely just stumbles, doesn't find the right crowd. I'm excited for Elio. I'm not through the moon excited for Elio, but I think there, think there might still be a chance for it. For Fantastic Four. I don't think Fantastic Four is guaranteed. I'll put Fantastic Four most likely. I think it stumbles $750, $800 million range. Pedro Pascal's in this one. Joseph Quinn's in this one. Evan Moss Backrack. Vanessa Kirby. You have a great cast here. We've seen Fantastic Four many times. I think three different live-action Fantastic Four movies have been released in my lifetime alone. That's within 25 years. Half a century. Quarter of a century. There's math for you. So I don't see this one dominating like I think I thought it would at first. And uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not all that excited for it. I'm just not, okay? Tron. Tron Aries, I believe this is going to be called. Um, I think Tron Aries is actually going to bomb. They made the Tron ride back at Disney World. A very fun ride. I've heard nothing about this movie. I have not gone back to rewatch the original Tron movie. I feel like this one could go straight to streaming. Just schnickle its way down there. And we have Blade. Is Blade even going to come out? If it does, it's going to bomb. I'm not trying to be negative. I will see these movies. And I have some looking forwardness to them. I have some anticipation for them. But Blade's gone through how many directors, how many writers, how many script changes. No one's confident in this movie. I think it's going to be one of those movies where Marvel releases it. We're going to be like, why did you even do it? I think they should scrap it while they're ahead. No reason to touch it. No one really cares. Cast Mahershala Ali as someone else in the MCU. I'm down for that. That's that's what I think. That's what I think. Avatar 3. People, guarantee the first two Avatar movies are top three highest grossing movies of all time, which is absurd to say. Avatar 3 is going to shatter box hours records yet again. It will do $2 billion. Bet your bottom dollar, folks. Zootopia 2. Zootopia 2, I'm putting in that guaranteed tier. Ah, it went most likely. So that was a sign. We're leaving it most likely. Zootopia 2 is a long-awaited, very long-awaited sequel. The first Zootopia, I believe, did a billion dollars. It's a fantastic film. Very, very good. I really love it. Zootopia 2 will probably end up being right around the $900 million to billion dollar range as well. Disney, all these movies, Bob Iger came back, and everyone's like, why are they just doing sequels? Because Disney was not doing too good in the numbers game. Their numbers were in the red, in the negatives. And Bob Iger came in and said, hey, guys, so let's look back at our last decade. What movies did well? They're like, Zootopia, Moana, Toy Story. They're like, okay, so we're going to do a sequels to Zootopia, Moana, and Toy Story. Leading us into Toy Story 5. Guaranteed a billion dollars. Toy Story 4 I thought was delightful. I thought it was so sweet. I thought they did a very good job with it. Adding characters Bucky and Dunny. Bucky and Dunny. Bunny and Ducky were absolutely fantastic. Toy Story 5 is going to hit on the notes that Toy Story 4 did. And I think it's going to be very funny as well. It's going to hit on the heartstrings. And will make it Pixar's probably again best franchise. But one of the greatest franchises of all time. Toy Story franchise is up there for the greatest franchise ever. Mandalorian and Grogu. What are we doing? What are we doing? Who even cares about Star Wars anymore? But since it is Star Wars, I will go middle of the road. Meaning I think it'll be right around $500 million range. Kind of like Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Mandalorian Season 3 sucked ass. I'm sorry. So hard to get through. First two seasons, fantastic. The hype for Mandalorian and Grogu. The hype for Star Wars. Right down in the toilet, people. No one's excited for Star Wars anymore. See his face? Not that excited for Star Wars. Mandalorian Grogu, what what are we doing here? Why didn't we just make a good season three? Make it even a possibly good season four? We're going to the movies now, Mandalorian Grogu. You're fucking stupid, all right? All right. Moving on. Last movie on this list, the live action Moana. I'll go most likely as well, meaning it's a very, 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 very good chance to go and do it. Because Dwayne Johnson is returning as Maui. Do I think it's a little bit early to get a live action remake for a movie that came out in 2016 to a sequel we're getting this year? 1,000%. We'll see how the sequel does this year. The sequel does good this year. Then a live action movie will probably dominate box office. But I just think it's a little early. Dwayne Johnson gets what he wants. He just kind of goes, hey, I'm a big guy and I want to make some money. That's what they do. I don't know. It's dumb. Nonetheless, Disney is looking to have a very, very bright future. A couple stinkers in there. What do you guys make of the upcoming slate for Disney movies? And which of them do you think will become a billion-dollar film or come a bomb? Or right down in the middle. Let me know all that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Thank you guys for watching and for being here and supporting. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right? Bye.